Perfect, perfect. Uh, one moment, please. Hi everyone, uh, I have to tell you that through this avatar, there are two people, okay? uh, we have a problem with the other avatar, uh, it's in an other computer, excuse me with this problem. One moment, please. I have a, a, I have to to put the elements here. One moment, please. Okay, uh, well, uh, I will begin to this presentation. Uh, here with me are uh, Dr. Juan Carlos Valdez Godinez, and I am Dr. Christian Jonathan Angel Rueda. We are from Mexico. Uh, I don't know why I listen to music. I don't know why I try to. Okay, uh, Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I will begin the presentation. Uh, the idea is that will be two avatars here making the presentation, but with these problems, I will begin to present with the presentation. Uh, uh, say, uh, uh, Juan Carlos will say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, todos. They say, hola a todos here in Mexico. Uh, here I uh, will try to uh, speak in English all the presentation. I will try to put all the elements in the, um, the text here in the presentation to read it if my, if my speech is not so well. Uh, okay. Thank you, every, everyone. Uh, <clears throat> I will put, okay. I don't know if the text is is going on. I put clicking on the text. I don't know if the text is going on. Click again. Okay. Okay. 
Perfect, perfect. The title is Culture and Education for Peace in Times of Tridimensional Immersive Digital Environments, 3D IDS. Uh, the authors and affiliations. We are the researchers, Dr. Christian Angel and Dr. Juan Carlos Valdez. Uh, click, okay. The abstract of this presentation. Okay, it says, this work is a critical consideration of the concept of three-dimensional immersive digital environment, 3D IDS, specifically virtual world environments, which have social and individual characteristics that could enhance a process of creating culture of peace within school context. The methodology implemented was, uh, let me see, change the, okay. this is the introduction. Okay, then say that methodology implemented. Okay. The methodology implemented was mainly reflected, thoroughly understand as a set of procedure that allow one achieve the objective of the reflection in perspective approach. This includes both of the collection of bibliographic information and the analysis of this from a quality perspective. The final reflection indicates the collective immersion of users in 3D IDS goes beyond the sharing of hypertextual information, traditional ICT, in the experience of educational activities that encourage building of culture of peace. Through the deep peer synthesis of visual authority, gestural, tactile, and corporal interactions which are present between the virtual and the individual performing the immersion, the immersion a deeper understanding of the concepts of culture and education for peace. Okay, this is the slide two. Let me see. Ah, excuse me, I, I have a problem. <laughs> yes, this is a slide two. Okay, uh, the next introduction. In the 21st century, human seeks the acquisition of values of skills such as solidarization, creativity, civic, and responsibility. Willingness to resolve conflicts through non-violent procedures and critical awareness. Thank you. Governments and social institutions are the vehicles through these values are come give to the populace through the understanding of the required for the construction of peace. It is through this idea that society promotes education for peace, which is not exactly a new idea, as mentioned by Montiel 2013. If one looks for precedents in history, we find that it has always been there, perhaps in different aspects with different names, but still present. Smith, page 28, states that educational for peace is understood as the development of values and knowledge, as well as the attitudes, skills, and practice necessary to achieve peace. That is what is needed in order to live in harmony with ourselves, others, and the environment. Educational for peace gives the individual an understanding of human relations at all levels through 
awareness and investigation of specific solutions. And also builds knowledge based on personal and social practice that prepare new generations to live in peace in a society with greater, greater justice. Leila Buller. Building peace, education through information and communication technology, ICT, represents a change in the way human beings interact with their environment. Libne point out that this is thanks to internet applications which favor interactive collaboration and information sharing. This is a social impact that is possible through the exchange and interaction through hypertext, but unfortunately, it has not really achieved immersion, the sensation of being in a real space. The individual feels that connection with a universe of synthesis and with visual auditory, gestural, tactile, and muscular interactions between the virtual and the individual that has the immersions. This type of immersive experience is part of the three-dimensional immersive digital environments, the 3DID. Discussed by Angel Valdez and Rudman that could strange the process of learning that live experiences space, time, identity, and body. Of culture of education for peace through of consensual, immersive, and narrative playful immersion. This can generate not only the exchange of information, but also has a potential experience of the information learned through a virtual body. The task is not imposed. Masterful knowledge through strategic planning, but rather to guide students construction their knowledge making through experiential culture and education for peace. The intention of this reflection in perspective derives from previous investigation. This document in indeed to address to the construction of culture and education for peace. Through the 3D ideas in specific virtual worlds, which have the social and individual characteristic that could change the educational process of this topic. Okay, the slide three. Okay. Research and methodology. The initial methodology of this prospective reflection was proposed by Dogan and Farrell as a practice when the research is faced with a new phenomenon of when he is interested in a relatively little studied subject. In suggest construction, alternative forms of conceptual theoretical explanation allowing the creation of bridges of understanding. It is for this reason that the methodology was built through the process of reflection in perspective, developing the techniques of instruments that will be needed. This process is described next, bearing in mind that this prospective reflection builds upon a previous investigation that generate knowledge and experience in activities carried out out in the use of virtual worlds with an education purpose. Conceptual elements were detected that could be considered for analysis through a culture and educational for peace approach. It is for this reason that an account of lessons learned in acquiring procedures that contribute to the collection of bibliographic information and experiences such as the analysis and treatment of this from a qualitative approach. The technique 
that was used in the first instant was documentary analysis with the use of technology instruments similar to the use of the tool of bibliographic cards. With a function of the identity, capture, label, classify, and reference scientific and academic articles to generate ideas and facilitate the analysis of the such. In this way, the problems resulting from the previous research were reviewing through the, and the relationship between the virtual world through the 3D ID and the culture and education of peace was investigated in the literature. To understand this research, it is necessary to return to the concept of complex concepts proposed by Maureen, which pos posits the formation of complex concepts. Right? Excuse me, excuse me. Uh oh, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I have problem with my avatar. Excuse me. I go to the place. Uh, I'm here. Uh, uh, excuse me. I click another part of the screen. Excuse me. Excuse me. Aha. There it is. In a particular, uh, excuse me. I will continue. Uh, complex units being very clear that there is a much to explore, define, discover, and interpret. Slide four. And we begin with the virtuality. We must trans that world of ideas to enter the world of learning, and the virtual can be one of the means to achieve this in the 21st century. The virtual is not a passion train. It is an evident touchstone of the real or instead of a knowledge of reality. The virtual brings new ideas to the world and installs all in them. They configure the world in their way and even set it again but they could also be unique and different ways of seeing reality. Therefore, the influence of the virtual in, a, in world information culture will grow and will end without any doubt, forever alternating or vision on the world as we know it today. But what is virtual? <laughs> Levy mentions that the word virtual comes from the medieval Latin virtualis, which in turn derives from virtus, strange power. Also, in this current usage, the term virtual is often used to express the pure absence within the order of you will have it in our delusions. It is at this point where the meaning of become complex become because it is when it begins to invoke the various forms of visualizations. And it is this circumstance where the virtual tends to be updated, although it is not concretized effectively or formally. Due to this situation, Qua and Lice propose straying from the context of virtual world which includes time, space, and communication process, potential and its virtuals and well and its knots of conflict with the real as well as the virtual presence. Taking this aspect into account, we can begin to explore the complexity of the virtual world that will allow a more appropriation disciplinary approach to the characteristic of current educational de development. Between the real and the virtual is Maldonado evidence which considers the impact of virtual models in the field of teaching and the humanities. 
It is the dream of pedagogical activism to make a collaborative student process which facilitate the transition, reception, and production of knowledge. It gives the pattern that will be possible thanks to virtual process related to reality. Of course, for this to be, the achievement must be made to explore the mission of formidable cognitive, projective, and creating potential of man. In this relationship with the world is more of creation of the world and with this most related to the mentioned concept of virtual is the virtual world. The context of virtual world has continued to be transformed as mentioned by Escobar. Our virtual world is that they are environments simulated by computer that have purpose of supporting. The activity of the consumers in terms of living and interaction in relation to it through the use of avatars, 3D forms of human humanoid aspirants, where virtual worlds allow multi-user collaboration. From which different type of interaction are derived from virtual world, such as Metaverse, Mood, Morph, Muth, Sandbox, VRMOO, Augmented Reality Massive Multiplayer Online, and does not involve all total immersion with those players to be aware in the real world. These last two concepts are proposal development in the movie Sword Art Online, Ordinal Scale, and I like very much. How can virtual worlds be useful? This was the question asked by the Bruce Dahmer in his book, Avatars Exploring and Building Virtual Worlds on the Internet. He responded, that a new medium symbolizes a different way for people to share a cognitive space and standard information. In those years, there, there were so many ideas for use with virtual worlds on the internet that only obstacles were technology. That technology is changing. Cap of Driscoll mentioned that the understand the converse of communications. Collaboration and the inevitable trajectory of the web towards a 3D interface. It is important to understand the transformation of the internet and the follow of on its maturing of communication learning and means of collab collaboration. In less than two decades, the web has undergone two complete evolution changes. and is now at the beginning of the powerful third changes that will bring the web into the third dimension where virtual worlds coexist together with augmented reality and virtual reality. Slide five. Okay. The didactic uses on virtual worlds have been investigated since to the since the mind nineties as evidenced by the research of the Explore Net, Virtual Academy, Marshall and Hughes. It should be noted that the number of potential users was restricted by the hard hardware and the connection requirements available at that time. The vision of teaching in virtual worlds involves several factors, as mentioned by Rudman in his representation, seven reasons for teaching in a virtual world. This vision, vision is based on his research in the Second World Interactive Future Teaching Suite Project. 
In summary, the seven reasons for teaching in virtual worlds are world roles, personal tutor experience, tangible outline, and artistic medium, and available and availability. It must be taken into account that a physical and a virtual must interact to such as a degree. That the big boundary is designed to blur. This is a particular true where a virtual world is used in a conjunction with the augmented reality and virtual reality. In general, the user should feel in a world without limits to develop whatever the imagination allows. The future of virtual reality is clearly present these days with immersion and mixed reality such as Microsoft HoloLens, Oculus Rift, viewers, and the other tools that have already begun to merge with virtual worlds. Virtual reality and virtual worlds are reaching into the physical space. Sibylla observes that the new solution offered by the computers allow us to overcome spatial limits, overcoming geographical distance without need to be physical present. Through the use of virtual presence, it is now that the material body is becoming absolute, being replaced by the virtualized body. We are affected by the technology of virtuality. A new a ways of understanding and experiencing the limits of temporal space that these techni technologies allow. These transformations have the potential to go very far to the point of radically redefining the nature of human beings and what it means to be alive. And with this, the way to learn the important, thing, the important thing is to reflect that determine the positive potential considering also the potential for harm. The potential of virtual worlds, educational practice and research are pointed out by Steve and his bird. They state that this can be used for the following purpose. Educational process, training and activity planning, trials, analysis of experience, experimentation, test, and evaluations, and awareness of activities. Accordingly, there is a great potential for virtual growth in education. If this is the case, educational institutionals face the challenge of training new generation of teachers to incorporate these new teaching learning tools into their classes. It's in such a way that virtual worlds are well-oriented teaching tools managed by teachers with a fundamentally social, pedagogical, and cultural impact rather than administrative or merely technological. This task involves planning awareness activities and one of, the, of these could be the culture of peace. It is also at this point that virtual worlds are part of change in the digital age due to the new social practice as mentioned by Lassun, which are moving towards spatial imaginary and creative changes in the relative meaning and balance between different classes and modes of knowing. Where C, this when the user is represented by the avatar, which affects the user perception and way of native, as well as the social connected with virtual worlds. This in turn models new form of interpersonal knowledge becoming moldy in this own night. Right. The social culture circumstances that surround the user can be identified in their virtual avatar or there is the possibility that the user creates his own culture through this representative ideology. Right. 
society. Today's society is fluid and these fluids present many challenges for education. One of these challenges is the contemporary change mentioned by Bauman. Where the world change in a way to continually change the truth of knowledge and even takes the best informed people by surprise. It seems that the world has real life today is not discussed as a place for learning. We no longer talk about engineering. Today we'll talk about culture and networks, tools alliance. Today we prefer to talk more about influence than leadership. This has been corporate thanks to information technologies where everything is plastic, paradoxical, and confusing. For this same reason, it is necessary to reflect on this type of citizenship that is combined with technology and has created a society fluidity. Never before has humanity been in such a situation where you have to learn how to exist in a universe overstrewed with the information. But what is this society that merged with technology to help understand part of the current society context with the evolution of survival culture? Levy carries out an anthropological investigation of cyberspace that leads to an understanding of cyberculture. He mentions that there is an abundance of literary, musical, artistic, even political currents that claim to be cyberculture in the world today. The interesting thing to analyze cyberspace and culture as independent entities, but that in turn and build massively. This construction between cyberspace and culture is part of the interactivity of language that to be hypertext and their way of navigation with information networks. This is an important point that has not happened before. These technological changes give a pattern of unimaginable interactivity with which to experiment. It is clear that, that it is clear that this transforms what was also known as a traditional education. Within the framework of technological navig navigation between knowledge and social relationship, Levy intimates without order and open end leases list hypertext. Interactive multimedia, video games, simulation, virtual reality. Augmented reality, robot board tools, artificial life, and expert systems. These devices find their pattern in the use of digital information. Filling the chains that privately could only exist in the human imagination. Within this field of communication consists by the computer networks over the last two decades, a process of a social construction has been generated about cyberspace and culture called hackers digital cyber culture. This group of people, a network society called themselves hackers and for an emerging community in technology dedicated to a programming Passionately, ethically. They believe it is ethical to share free software facilitating access to information and computer resources wherever possible. Himanen. One often hears about hackers as a distributed force in a society, individuals seeking to harm on a discrete technological establish. We need to, to distinguish the difference between those hackers that they seek to harm 
and those who profess ethical hacking for the better of society. This distinguish may be subject to debate for some, but what concerns this reflection is the ethical determination of the hacker that has influence not only in the school. They have also changed different levels of daily life in the knowledge society as it was related to peace. Regarding the transfer of knowledge through critical dialogue, the hacker model defines itself as an open model of science. This part of the educational plan change, which could use 3D ID for educational purpose through the foundation of educational technology, where culture and education for peace should be inter integrated from the ethical exchange of free knowledge with a subjection by organizations. In a certain way, it is the one that is influencing the new generation of students. Recognizing that the ethical model of the hacker that is an influence educational has been the absence of a right system. This is important to realize and point out without and draw on this concept. This is at the core of concepts with study students within this cyberspace society are found. The ethical hacker ethos may be considered an exponent of change that is emerging in teaching. Learning process regarding a new paradigm of teaching through technology. Slide 7. To understand this function between the technology and educational, and how this can be carried out mechanical, Nekusi described the development of cognitive skills based on this, on the use of technology. He mentioned that technology are becoming ubiquitous, linking to each other and in a network. In this way, ICTs create an intelligence that is, that is extensible both technology and societally speaking, resulting in expansion, expansion of human memory and physical capacities. These technologies are challenging temporary and spatial limits if the accumulation of information found in the new network in cell through didactic activities that generate cognitive skills thanks to the complex and operation development in the network. Students will be motivated to go beyond the merge accumulation of information. It's true that technology has merged with society and society defines the permits in which technology moves. Even this fact, there is a linkhood that we are also changing the human brain. In this regards, Bartra supposed that exobrain hypothesis which states that the exobrain is a cultural prosthesis and that declares that the exobrain is the uh, aesthetic pro prosthesis that emerges from society and interacts with the brain of the individual. This cultural Prosthesis is pers personified by the language, symbols, mice, and, and general of the knowledge of cultural transitions. Without these elements, this biological brain and conscious can hardly develop. In this case, the community, the cultural exobrain, interacts with the individual. If there is, is the considerable influence of technology in teaching learning process, the brain will take something ordinary and process in technologically. With this reasoning, we are observing a society that technologically immerses at that level of brain. 
Assuming that certain regions of the human brain generally acquire a neuro neurophysically depends of the symbolic system of su substitution. This system is transmitted by a cultural and social mechanisms. Observing that the knowledge could be transmitted naturally through the dissemination of communication through the technology medium. The concept of a connection between society and the brain could lead to the new investigation theories of learning in a digital environment. The COVID proposed that tools increase our ability to interact with others and more easily complete tasks. Tools are extension of humanity, improving our ability to externalize our thinking in order to share with others. Without, with that has been mentioned con concerning that complexity of the society networks, we find that tools form basis of an, uh, applying the principles of connectivism. Where a particular pattern of learning relationships and the creating of new conceptions, connections, patterns, and skills to maneuver around existing networks in defined, is defined. One of these technologies that could cover these aspects would be the use of virtual worlds. The starting point of this connectivity is individual, but personal knowledge is part of a greater network that knows organizations and institutions. In turn, this knowledge fits back into the network and continues to provide learning to individuals. Virtual world networks facilitate the inter interconnection of knowledge. This cycle of knowledge development allows a process appendix to be aware of the area through the connection they have creating with the virtual world. We can identify through the 3D ID, especially the immersion connect to a network of users as a possible in the virtual world. One can view the collective culture of this network through the connection and construction of planet educational activities that promote the development of a culture of peace. The stable context provided by the virtuality of virtual worlds transcends what it is possible with the other forms of ICT. Slide 8. Individual. The volatile society in which we find ourselves in being transformed by the technology as a result of important to understand the context in which the individual in, is immersive in the digital, we, we must recognize that the human brain is changing due to the effects of exposure to digital networks for long periods, developing in a kind of cerebr cerebral plasticity. Small and Morgan mentioned that due of the plasticity of the young brain permanent change may be effect in the response of the stimuli, stimuli that comes from the digital environment. Prensky talks about the generational digital divide between digital natives and digital immigrants. We can think about how digital immigrants utilize the, the new technologies to help them be more efficient at work, in life, and in talking the proofs of the current culture. Has there been an evolution change in the brain or digital natives? Evidence in this with which they native these new technologies. Yet, are these skills able to improve human contact in individual environments? The human capacity for dex dexterity may well be the key to collaborate creation in the virtual world. 3D environments can be developed practice that optimize the learning curve of the user. As mentioned by Martinez Lopez, the design of learning activity in virtual world. As a significant potential to build learning, 
The learning can be carried out properly as an in a class or through a programming scenario as a role play. It is the correct plan, it looks like. So we have to go up the stairs. Oh, yeah, there you go. Up the stairs, Susan. Can you hear me? I just want to, mm -hmm. don't want to talk too loudly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so just up the, up the stairs here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, up here. Uh, excuse me? The advantage of the virtual world is supported by the greater variety of options to communicate and interact with the teachers and classmates using any combination of voice, text, and multimedia elements. When the virtual world experience is building and designed by the same users, then communication and collective interaction are the center of the social experience of virtual world, as I mentioned by Pitch et al. Therefore, the virtual world presents an ideal platform for the participation of students in the construction educational practice. Some believe learning is a directly observable change in behavior from a social constructivism framework for educational virtual worlds. Brian et al. explain that learning is revealed in the intellectual capacity, cognitive in strategies, motor skills, and this position which the individual develops during the work with purpose within a community. For these students are trained as a member of a community of practice where their development is at a conf confluence of effort. Okay. Okay. I go to the slide nine. Um, in the slide nine, the use of the virtual walls for the construction of culture and peace in school context reflection on the potential of virtual walls for the culture and education for peace detect aspects of virtuality that have potential to change the life experience of participants. This must be taken into consideration the process of both technological and social collaboration construction in virtual world contribute, contributes to the this sensation of life experiences. The use of this virtual world from a play per perspective to close the gaps between young people in conflict zones through a shared experiences of playing popular video games. And then, another project in which the virtual world education of peace was used was done by researchers from Duke University who partnered with virtual roles to come to create virtual world in which students practice skills in diplomacy and question response. Students work in teams to decide how they will distribute aid funds and deal with unexpected prices often generated on the fly by the, their instructions who monitor the virtual environments as the game development. These virtual resources, the technology used that in virtual environments such as World of Warcraft to help train next generation of interaction ne negotiations researched by Tegelin, consider the benefits that virtual worlds provide the clarifiers organization from a case study relating to the exercise of training for peace. <sighs> Excuse me. I try to go the most quickly moment. Uh, let me see. It was identified that individuals who share the same social interest through the world can now join to participate in peace activities regardless of geographic, cultural, or organizational limits. <laughs> and then, final thoughts.
The interest of this reflective reflection lies in capturing the didactic strategies that can arise in any educational practice with 3D ID, especially virtual worlds for educational purpose. The important thing is to understand the context from which it comes and now how the human being is so that in this way the same human being can be find the path of this culture and peace. In this reflection, it is thought that the virtual world fits perfectly in this vast digital context on the part of this citizen and its digital culture. It was observed that in the virtual world, the students overcome the mere sharing hypertext information, traditional ICT, to really life the experience of educational activities that encourage the construction of a culture of peace. This was mediated by the synthesis of visual, auditory, gestural, tactile, and corporal interactions between the virtual and the individual that performs the immersion, experiencing the representation of the concepts of culture and educational for peace. Further, work in this area is necessary to determine the validation of the assumption that immersive experiences and this one's understanding of the concept of culture and peace over more traditional education practice. The practice in relation to the use of digital technology through the virtual world teach the culture of educational for peace is not merely technological and insulate. Reflection can acclaim the teacher as a transforming subject of their own pedagogical practice in what means to teach life culture of peace. This led of that to rise the need to build a pedagogy in perspective that of the dialogue of the disciplinary knowledge that has been created taking a reference the practice of the teacher and his own their practice. And thank you all, gracias a todos. Obrigado a todos, thank you, Carlos Holden, and all say you. Gracias. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Sinia. Scott, David, Sihun, Morg, Liv, Valeration. Ariane, Beth, Dalifu, thank you, thank you. Let me thank you.